Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of cesium chloride. So we're going to use this table to help us out. Bam! So the first step is to write down the elements that you see in the compound. So we see cesium CS and we see chlorine Cl. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. And that's where the subscripts come into play. At the bottom of each, there's a 1. So that means we have 1 cesium and 1 chlorine. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. Where do we find those masses? To the periodic table, my friend. The masses are down here at the bottom, right? Cesium is about 132.91. Chlorine is about 35.45. And those are the numbers now we're going to write inside the table here. So cesium was again 132, 132.91. And then chlorine was about 35. 0.45. Then all we're simply going to do to find the total mass of the element in the compound, we're just going to simply multiply this row on across. So 1 times 132.91 is, well, hopefully 132.91, right? If you need to plug that into the calculator, right. So next we're going to then do the multiplication on the bottom, 35.45, and then we're simply going to add that up. All right, so now when you add this together, the total is going to be 168.36. And since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. And that's all there is to it. That's the molar mass of cesium chloride. Thanks for watching.